here we are at the Frank Lloyd Wright Pope Lady House just outside of Washington DC going up into the carport Wright did this great thing here with compression where you go into this really short ceiling and you come in and it'd be really narrow inside then you go down the steps into the main room and the roof would open the ceiling opens up taller gives you this set of some decompression that I talked about earlier This cypress you can't get anymore. It's white cypress from the Everglades. And it's a protected species now, but it pretty much lasts forever. Mud here at the Pope Lady House. Frank Lloyd Wright designed. It's outside of Washington, D.C. Little tiny house. This is the kind of the foyer. If you turn right or left when you come inside, there's the bedroom wing. Ceiling about six feet tall, a little over that. But you step down here and it kind of opens up into this living room. It's this lovely feeling of openness to it because the ceiling goes up and the steps come down. So you get decompressed, you get compressed and then decompressed as you come into here. Some storage here that closes up. Well, utility room there, a very small kitchen. A fold up there so that you can get more space if you don't need to get into the utility room. Really small kitchen. Dining space here. Nice open view of the courtyard area. These are great. These doors on the corners open up to completely open up the corner to make it easy to walk out. The corner just disappears. There's our dining space and you could be in the kitchen and still talk to people who are sitting in the dining space. I love these clear story windows that give you some light from all the way around. They open to get breeze through the whole house. Little desk there next to the fireplace. It's a good idea. This little space outside for kind of holding toddlers. It's a, a screen room to keep up, keep, you keep getting from getting eaten alive. Love the library over here. Just this beautiful space. A little climbing light here. So you can read over in the corner here. These original and rep reproduction chairs that you can move anywhere. And there's the bathroom. A tiny thing, beautiful closets, beautiful little storage spaces without having to have a door open wide. Pretty space. There's the master bedroom, beautiful light coming in, nice storage space. I love these little clear story windows that would open up. You can see the other ones on the other side of that narrow hallway. They would all open up 
give you a cross breeze through the whole bedroom wing. Lovely open space to wake up to. Kind of a king size bed from two twins. Relatively low ceiling, very horizontal space. I love these pull chain lights so you can get light where you need it. The uh, Wurzmer House over in Oberlin, Ohio has a similar long skinny hallway only it's about a foot wider so that there's a uh, place to put bookshelves all the way down which I think is an excellent idea. Excellent idea. You come in here and there's a little jog into the kids' room. Similar sort of a closet there. Beautiful view. I love these corner windows that just open up and disappear the corner. These cutouts to give a little bit of privacy into the room while still getting a lot of light. Shelves going around the corner added to the structure. These are called uh, hanging walls They uh, Or curtain walls because they're they're very thin. It's just a piece of plywood with Cypress screwed to either side of it mm. It's just a great feeling to be able to slide through here. There's the front door, little side room, kind of a study. They sold it, that's when they got rid of it, or did it was Oh, it's never been sold, from 1940. I'm very conscious of his yeah. design of oh, yeah. compression and release. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Taliesin is the worst. And Taliesin, you actually. Yeah. Like the last room was kind of a, a den slash workshop, but of course, that never seems to happen. It turns into the baby's room when another baby came along. Wonderful little separate space, though. If you all will come along, you've got another chest here. Fairly good. Please. People feel so comfortable. Are you sure it is so I comfortable. Know. I know. want to stay. I, mean, I saw them start going back down, and I was like, oh. Well, it's a calm I know. I know. Awful bright out here, hard to see the nice shade on these ends here. <coughs> the uh, house is considerably turned from where its original spot. I don't even know if we can see any of that. But the, uh, because they had to move it twice. Once to get it out of the way of a new freeway and once just because the soil underneath was unsuitable. Let's see if I can get the whole thing in from here. This would have been the backyard, which would have made it much more private. Which was an interesting 
change from how houses were built in towns in the city where there was a kind of a front porch welcoming area and we weren't really set up for privacy but that was changed by right the long bedroom wing was meant to shield the space from the public. And these tall walls with no windows, even though there's a bunch of windows in other places, you could point these at space that you uh, didn't want to be public. You could give you a little more privacy. I like the screen room. The screen itself is just wrapped around a piece of pipe. It gives it some rigidity, even on the ceiling, so the breeze goes through. I wonder how that is with the snow. Apparently it works fine, but there's less snow load here than there is in Ohio. I judge everything according to Ohio snow loads, so I'll go places in Arizona and the way they've used small beams will freak me out. I like the carport though. You drive up and drop off the groceries or hang out and talk without getting rained on. fall over things while I'm backing away from them. <laughs>